spooling up with some fresh braid. You know, the cool thing about being at home is I get to be hard-headed. When I'm fishing tournaments, I cannot be very hard-headed. So we're at home, the current's ripping behind me, and I'm gonna throw braid all day because, as I've already stated, I'm hard-headed. So swim jig, spro frog, and a brand new spro flapping frog, that's about all we're gonna throw today. So I'm spooling up some mo braid. Okay. All right, so if I'm gonna be hard-headed, y'all already know, I wanna tie on a dang swim jig. This right here is a quarter ounce untamed tackle swimming jig, and I got that new missile mini D-chunk on back. I'm gonna be hard-headed. I'll be hard-headed my way. If they'll bite it, we're gonna have fun. If they don't, we're just gonna get a little bit better at casting. Got me a little old swimming jig with the mini D chunk. He had to come out there and check on it one time. I tell you, man, this freaking 7.3 Heavy gets them to the boat so fast. He bit in one second, had a little 13 incher in my hands. Got me, got my leg, little spotted bass. But he liked that little uh, swimming jig. Don't take my legs. Last chunk in the boat. Chunky one, dude. It's a good thing about them reaction bait fish. They're usually the fat ones. There you go, begging. Begging. Oh, that's a good one. That's what happens. Get up in there. That, that is. Yeah, the biggest one so far. One eye. Right there in that current scene, wasn't it? Look at that. Jig. Even got my buddy with a dang swimming jig. <laughs> Next day. No, but if you find. Howdy, my friend. How you doing? Look at that. That's why I like that jig. Wherever they eat it, that's where it hooks them. If you find an area where you see a bunch of them, you're gonna you're gonna come out through there and see some more. <clears throat> Good one, ain't it? Yeah. Off the tip of that tree. Mm -hmm. Pretty nice one. Two swim jig bass. Oh, uh, you know you run in between the island. You told me you said they get there in the when you come in the fall or the winter or something. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. When that saddle? Mm -hmm. When did you tell me they get there? By March. Alright. Same time the swim jig bite's good. That next pocket on the right right there. Got all that viney shit growing, ivy looking shit growing on the seawall. I easily have 15 pounds worth of bite. There's one, the way I want to catch him. A little butter ball. It's a pretty one, two pounder. Dude, that braid just feels different, dude. Oh, sorry, buddy. Belly flopped him. Two hooks through the jaw, though. Another pretty one. 
I like my braid baits, guys. In case y'all are wondering at home, I do like throwing braid. I'm convinced that braid right there is strong. Two pounder. I didn't think you could do that. I didn't either. Look at that. Right in the noggin. All right, what's going on? Y'all got to see one of my favorite ways of catching them. Y'all know that if I can catch them on braid in a heavy rod, especially on a swim jig or a frog or flipping, I am as happy as you can be. So I'm gonna run y'all through the setup that I used to actually catch those bass the other day. We didn't catch any real big ones, but we did catch a lot of fish, got a lot of bites. And this time of year, if you can get that many bites throwing braid around, it's a pretty dang fun day. So we're just gonna start with the meat of the whole deal. Seven foot three, heavy, extra fast, point blank. This rod is so light and so powerful. It's super easy to cast it around those bushes in that heavy current, around the grass, around the laydowns, whatever, and when a big fish bites it, y'all seen it. I, I pretty much would pull them straight into the boat on the hook set unless they were a two pounder. And then you'd have to fight them just a little bit, but pretty much you ski them to the boat. This rod has so much power, it moves fish so fast, and in that current heavy cover, it's just like one of the most important deals is when that fish bites, getting his head up and getting him over everything that's in between you and him. Now, one key aspect to that is the 60 pound, this is 60 pound Sunline braid. I will link all this stuff down below. The, the rod, the braid, everything, the swim jig, even the trailer, everything, I will link it down below. Well, the trailer is actually not for sale yet. So I'm not gonna link that, but that is the Missile Mini D Chunk. It'll be out in just a couple of weeks. If we can stop, so I'm trying to get everyone of the gets in stock right now. I'm like, send them to me, send them to me, send them to me, send them to me, because they've been eating this thing. But right now, I don't think they're available to the public yet, but that's the Missile Mini D Chunk. This is a super bug color. I was throwing that, and I was throwing Bruiser Flash, you know, whenever I was fishing out the river. But, like I said, a big aspect of this is the 60 pound braid and a really really fast action fast gear ratio reel not fast action fast gear ratio reel so you can make a lot of casts really fast you can move that fish big uh, you know a long ways and if that fish does cut in the current you need to have a really fast reel so you can catch up to them because sometimes they'll get sideways and that current start running off the bank and it's very very difficult to keep up with them so eight to one gear ratio reel very heavy rod braid uh, untamed tackle swimming jig with a big hook in it so you can pull them fish out of the cover and not have to worry about it. So that's the setup I was using. We had an absolute blast of a day this time of year. We was only there for like two hours and I don't know how many we caught. Probably caught 12 or 15 fish. So that's pretty good in, in two hours. Cannot complain with that at all. Also, if you have not used your Welcher 15 code for Black Rifle, it'll get you 15% off your first, your first order with Black Rifle, Welcher 15. And if you have used it, you can try Blast Off 20 and that'll get you another discount on, on another order. So pretty cool. I appreciate you guys watching. I will link all this stuff down below. Haven't posted videos in a while. We're getting back into it, trying to ramp it back up. I appreciate y'all watching. Leave a like. Leave a comment. Let me know how y'all are doing in these dog days of summer. We'll see y'all in the next video.